Hey friends, this is AJ from 360 Reader. In today's video, I am going to show how you can zip and unzip files and folders on iPhone and iPad. There could be all sorts of reasons why you may want to zip files on your iOS or iPad OS device. Maybe you want to manage storage smartly or speed up sharing. Or maybe you want to perfectly organize the backups of all the files stored on your device. Whatever could be your personal reason, there is a pretty straightforward to compress or uncompress files using the Files app on iPhone or iPad. That said, let me show you how it's done the right way. Before we move further, make sure you have subscribed to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from 360 Reader. First off, I am going to show how you can compress a file or folder. To do so, launch the Files app on your iPhone or iPad. Find the file or folder that you want to compress. Press and hold on the file or folder, then select Compress from the contextual menu. The new compressed chip file containing your file or folder will be automatically saved in the same location as the originals. Let's know how to compress multiple files in a single chip on iPhone and iPad. There is also a quick way to compress multiple files in a single chip. It is just as straightforward. To get it done, launch the Files app on your iPhone or iPad. Find the files or folders that you want to compress. Tap Select in the top right corner of the screen, then tap on the files or folders you want to include in the chip. Tap the ellipsis icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Now I am going to show how you can uncompress the zipped files. Launch the Files app on your iPhone or iPad. Find the zipped file that you want to uncompress. Press and hold on the zipped file, then select Uncompress from the contextual menu. The uncompressed files will be saved in the same location as the original zipped file, which is now safe to delete. That's all there is to it. So that's the way you can zip or unzip files on your iPhone or iPad. Now that you know the smart file management feature works, make the most of it to keep the clutter at bay. If you have found this guide helpful, do like and share it and I will catch you in the next video. Till then, stay safe and have a fantastic time.